Math Blast Week 8, Write Expressions. Write the numerical expression for each phrase. Two more than the product of 7 and 13. A product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So I know I want to multiply 7 and 13 to get that product, and I want two more than that, so I can add two. Or I could write that as two added to 7 times 13. Either way would be okay. Now, keep in mind that order of operations tells us multiplication comes before addition, so it is not necessary to have parentheses here. However, it will not hurt if we choose to put parentheses around the 7 times 13. Next, the quotient of 12 and the difference of 5 and 1. The quotient is the answer to a division problem, while the difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So for this, I want to find the difference of 5 and 1. I want to subtract 5 and 1. And once I have that difference, I then want to find the quotient of 12 divided by that difference. So 12 divided by, in parentheses, 5 minus 1. And it is important that the parentheses are around the 5 minus 1 so that we make sure we do that first before the division. Classify triangles. Identify the triangle by sides and angles. Provide evidence for your side angle choices. Sides. Equilateral. An equilateral triangle has all equal sides. And this triangle looks like it could have all equal sides. However, be careful because as I measure it, it really looks like this side here is a little longer than the other two sides that are equal to each other. This and this would be equal. So we're going to call this an isosceles triangle because an isosceles triangle has at least two equal sides. While a scalene triangle is a triangle that has no equal sides. Looking at angles, if the triangle has a right angle measuring exactly 90 degrees, it would be considered a right triangle. If the triangle has an obtuse angle, which means a an angle that measures more than 90 but less than 180 degrees, it would be considered an obtuse triangle. And for those triangles that have all acute angles, all angles that measure less than 90 degrees, it's considered an acute triangle. So in our case, we have an acute triangle because all angles are less than 90 degrees. Next, we have measurement conversions. If one meter equals 100 centimeters, then seven and five tenths meters equals seven and five tenths times 100 centimeters. Now we would take our seven and five tenths and we needed to make two shifts to the left on the place value chart, which would give us 750 centimeters. If one foot equals 12 inches, then eight feet would be eight groups of 12 inches, which is 96 inches. On the back side, we have multiply decimals. 28 and two tenths times five, estimate the product. 28 and 2 tenths, we could round to 30, and we're going to multiply that by 5. Now keep in mind, 30 is 3 tenths times 5. So 3 times 5 is 15, but keep in mind those are tens, so it's 15 tens, which is equal to 150. Show all work to solve. Use a place value chart, an area model, or the algorithm. Here we're going to use an area model. I'm going to take my 28 and 2 tenths and represent that in at the top of my area model here as 2 tenths, 8 ones, and 2 tenths. And I want 5 groups. When we're multiplying by 5, I want 5 groups of each of those units there. So 5 groups of 2 tenths is going to be, let me change my color here so we can see that in the area model. Two groups of five ten, and I'm sorry, five groups of two tens is ten tens. Five groups of eight ones is forty ones. And five groups of two tenths is ten tenths. Now I'm going to put each of those in standard form right below my area model here. Ten tens is one hundred. Forty ones is forty and 10 tenths is one. 
When I add all of those parts to the product there together, I get 141. So 28 and 2 tenths times 5 is 141. Lastly, we have divide decimals. Find the quotient. Report your answer in standard form. So for here, I'm going to use a place value chart. I have the ones, tenths, and hundredths. And on my place value chart, I want to model my dividend, 84 hundredths. So I'm going to put 8 tenths and 4 hundredths. And now I need to divide by 2. So I'm going to make bundles of 2 here and see how many, or I should say groups of, groups of 2 and see how many groups I get. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4 groups of 2 I was able to make in the tenths column. In the hundredths column, again, I'm going to make groups of 2. And here I was able to make 2 groups of 2. And there were none in the ones, so my answer, my quotient, is 42 hundredths. That's all for today, math friends.